Hello, Amazon.com. It's me, Bo Shemisu. I review and test all sorts of violent things across the internet. Today, I am coming to you with a shoulder holster that I have had for four years. I wore it almost every day for the first two years. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Galco Classic Light Shoulder Holster System. I noticed on their page that it's a little difficult when you have a gun and you're trying to make sure if, in fact, it will actually fit in here. Of course, they do mention that it will work with the Compact 45, Springfield XD, XD Compact, XDM. But this actually is not Springfield. My gun right here is a Smith & Wesson M&P 9C. So let's go ahead and clear it out. And this is, I'm actually gonna measure this right here. So if you have a similar gun, you'll be like, hey, mine's a similar size. So let's check it out right here. This is about six and a quarter, six and a half in, uh, in length right there. And as for the upper part, this is about, oh, I'd say about two inches right there, just a hair under two inches. The nice thing about a leather type holster is it doesn't have to be precise, like a plastic or polymer type holster, because it does actually have a bit of give and it does stretch a little bit. And, uh, and I do have the extended magazine with a little pinky support right there, which pops in right like so. And then on this side, I actually have a uh, extra magazine which pops out very, very easily. Uh, there's no ammo in there because I was actually just shooting, so I've completely depleted that. This one does not actually have the, uh, the pinky extension, but it does fit nicely under there. If it did have the pinky extension, it would fit as well because there are two buttons on there, and I am at the, uh, the little clip, the little button that is the, um, the, the shortest. Basically, it can go longer than this, but I'm just gonna be short right there. There we go. Very, very comfortable, although I would not recommend it wearing any kind of muscle shirt or anything like that because eventually it will rub up around here, especially if you're doing a lot of movement throughout the day. So I would recommend having some kind of undershirt on for something like this. Um, it, what I like about this is um, it's very easy to conceal underneath um, shirts, slim fitting shirts. Uh, normally you have to wear something kind of baggy and that's just not my style. Yes, I'm a pretentious little hipster, hence the glasses. Um, but hey, you know what? I want something that will you know, not freak people out and I'm not printing like mad everywhere I go. So this works perfectly and you'll see that it barely peeks out the top right there. And very, very nice construction. You can actually see a bit of wear on this side right there because as I mentioned, I did wear it for many years. Um, I'm not wearing it as much anymore because I've actually uh, changed my concealed carry to a Taurus Curve. Yes, the actual curved gun. No, I am not a lesbian or gay. <laughs> Uh, but I've actually shot quite a bit and it works really, really well. Not that I don't love this gun, this is incredibly accurate. I, I can hit things from so far with this thing. Um, but, you know, I'm not in Gaza Strip here, so I just found that in my particular environment, I don't need something uh, as big as this. Uh, however, do keep in mind when it comes to concealed carry, uh, there are basically two spectrums. On one spectrum, you have the uh, shoulder holster type systems that are very, very easily concealed. Barely anyone knows that you have it unless you hug them. Uh, <laughs> it's true. You go to hug someone and, and your liberal friend feels you and you're like, do you, do you have something on under your shirt? And I'm like, yes, I have a, a nine mil. And they get really, really worried. It's so funny. But anyway, on one end of the spectrum, you have the concealed carry that um, is hard to access. Basically, it's slow to deploy, but it's highly, highly concealed. And then on the other spectrum, you have the very quick to deploy, but it's not very well concealed. So just keep in mind that you can't have best of both worlds that is perfectly concealed and perfectly accessible. You can't have both of those things. Um, obviously, the best way of, of carrying a quickly accessible firearm is just on the outside of your, your belt. Uh, obviously, everybody can see it, though. But I am a huge fan of Galco. 
I actually customized this thing. I'm, in case you're wondering about my body type, I'm 6'2", 165 pounds, 32 inch waist, fairly skinny, lanky sort of fellow. So I actually had to um, adjust this thing and I did end up cutting some of the leather on purpose so that there wasn't like a big flapping uh, piece, you know, roaming around. And lastly, this is how you kind of put it on. Um, you know, obviously you don't want to be pointing this at anyone when you do put it on. So typically I hold it like this. Uh, almost as if you're gonna put on a backpack on this side and like this like this and I take both of them and put it like this and then like so and then slip it on like this uh, typically you do want to have it somewhat high you don't want it kind of low wagging around so whenever you're leaning over it's um, you know untucking your shirt or something like that um, but a quick little adjustment there and you can wear it all day. You'll basically forget about it. Five out of five stars. I absolutely love this thing. Highly, highly recommended. Uh, so that's it. Uh, my name is Bo Shevisu. I look forward to testing and reviewing more fun, fantastic things here on Amazon.com.